The legendary Land Cruiser brand will be back in North American showrooms on August 1, 2024, with some updates after a brief absence. The Prado, J150, will be replaced in international markets by the new SUV, designated J250. Compared to the J300, which made its debut in 2021, this one will be unique. Despite two redesigns and a plethora of model year changes, the departing Land Cruiser Prado has remained mostly unaltered since 2009. Americans have had the chance to buy the similarly related Lexus GX, a vehicle that hasn't had an improvement in over 14 years, and the Toyota Twin is expected to follow suit soon after. The Lexus GX and the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado have always been very similar because they share a foundation and have been designed for decades. Consequently, there has been a lot of rebadging, earlier models mostly had new front ends and badges, but the sides and much of the tail were unchanged. But since both new SUVs will be sold in the US, Toyota has decided to focus on giving them distinct exteriors. The teaser images served as inspiration for our perspective designs, which depict a Lexus GX and a brand new Land Cruiser Prado with Toyota exclusive amenities. Land Cruiser owners and fans would love how those make it look more retro. Like the J60 model, this one has rectangular headlights set over two air intakes up front. In keeping with the throwback style of the plastic grille, the black trim piece of the functional bumper leads to a skid plate. The front bumper features more plastic cladding and inlets than the Lexus, and the fog lights are housed in the body-colored sculpted portions of the bumper. Last but not least, the boxy nose and bonnet bumps are slightly different. It is highly probable that the new Land Cruiser Prado will share its powertrains with the GX when it arrives in our nation. With two turbochargers and the ability to produce 349 horsepower and 479 pounds to foot of torque, this would indicate a 3.4-liter V6 engine that shares certain specifications with the Lexus. A subsequent stage would see the unveiling of a hybrid version. It is not likely that the future Tacoma will be able to get the 2.4-liter inline-4 turbocharged engine that powers the next 4Runner. The move of the Land Cruiser could have intriguing consequences for mid-size models like the 4Runner. To better compete with Jeep's Bronco and Ford's Wrangler, the 4Runner might get a redesign if the next Land Cruiser is smaller like the GX. It would not be surprising if the next-gen 4Runner, taking cues from the GX and maybe even the Land Cruiser to come, might be significantly smaller and do away with the third row as an extra feature. Thanks for watching.